Hello and welcome to this installment of Chunker News Network. There's not been too much general news this week. However, for any of you playing on the TTS, I'd love to know your feedback on the changes that they've made in the TTS, as I haven't really heard anything from any of the players. There is one thing where Ubisoft talked on stream about potentially nerfing the FAMAS in a future patch, but there's nothing of note yet, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. So we'll be moving straight into esports news as there's been some huge developments. This week, the Latam scene had a gigantic transformation that I've been waiting for for a few weeks if you've been following the scene. Team Liquid officially announced that they were picking up Moper. FaZe announced that they were picking up Font. I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but Team 1 picked up Rogarino, I think is how you say it. And Fallen's Org, now officially named Yeah Gaming, has picked up Lanchinetti. The groups of the Invitationals were also announced this week, and they are as follows. Group A is Penta, Evil Geniuses, 1UP Esport and the winner of the community vote, which is likely to be Vitality or BRK. Group B is Team Liquid, Rogue, Mind Freak and Rain Factory. Group C is Black Dragons, Elevate, Supremacy, Yeah Gaming and Group D is Ents, Phase, Irons and Era. Our six Zans have announced another Anz Cup. The Cup will feature 16 teams from Australia and New Zealand. Eight of the teams will be the current Pro League teams and another eight will be invited teams made up of up and coming rosters based off of the community tournaments and the go fours. The teams will be divided into two groups and will play all opposing teams in a round robin format. And this will start on January 31st and end on March the 4th. The prize pool is 10,000 Australian dollars. The Pro League subreddit has announced another AMA, this time with the caster Milosh. The AMA will begin on the subreddit on January 27th and you'll be able to post your question as soon as the post goes live. I'm also happy to announce SiegeGG.com. I'm going to be working on this alongside the Pro League subreddit moderators and a few other people. We're going to be covering news on the esports scene. We're going to be covering match results and upcoming matches from across all leagues. We're going to have a fantasy service. We're going to have a betting service, which, by the way, doesn't include real money, just so you're aware. We're going to have a ton of stuff. Now, once we go live, we're going to plan on expanding and keep going, keep growing our staff, keep growing what we cover. But to start off with, we'll have the things I said listed. We're also going to have a podcast, which will feature Emzo as the host. I'm really excited to get this out there. It's not live yet. This is just the announcement of what we're planning to do, but we're, we've been working on it for about two months now. I will let you guys know once it's live. We're hoping it's not going to be too longer because, like I said, we're all really excited to get it out there. Uh, finally, moving into fashion news. So this week there was a birthday charm for Vigil. And as usual, you play seven games of Vigil and you get the charm, which is a small little golden medal with his logo on it as well as this there was a new bundle for the spetsnaz which features a new uniform and a new headgear for glass chanker fuse and cap cam thank you for watching this week was a short video mostly esports focused but in terms of overall impact that phase and liquid are going to have on the on the game it's going to be massive subscribe for more news check the description for the social media contacts to stay up to date on the fly and as always remember that chanker will always stand by you.